Mr. Look Pierce at the telling the kids that the it's tree is 300, 300 years old. It looks like it's dead, but it's still growing. Maybe 100 years to grow up, 100 years to live, and then 100 years to die. 300 years old. So how about, uh, let's see, one, two, three. One up here. Got the sun in the Three sky all the water around the city. Get me down. Also, look at the hole there. And what do you think might live in that hole? Squirrel? Owl? Chipmunk, raccoon? And one of those big woodpeckers. Those big red woodpeckers live in that tree. Oh, really? These are beech trees. They don't, they don't have the nectar disease. What was the other one? Maple. Maple. And this is uh, old growth forest. There's not many of these big trees left in the front of it. It's really sad. Really sad. We have a big girl. So whenever you see a nice big tree, you want to be down a nice big hut. Oh, I love you so much. That's not one big old tree. These trees are very, very valuable. Because when people cut them, I've got they cut the boards. And every one of the boards is worth a lot of money. One board is worth about $50. Got so you can see how many boards they have. And they use this for making furniture. You probably have some oak furniture in your house. Oh, 
all back and yep. we'll run them over. Steve's new mode of transportation. <laughs> <laughs> Long, long time ago. Is that what she said? A long, long time ago, all of this area was covered with ice. Ice age. And when the ice melted and the ice scraped the land, of course there were no trees, but there were lots of big rocks. And most of these big rocks, you can find others when we go down, are glacial rocks. They were left here by the glacier. They're huge. What kind of tree is this? Fine. Fine. Fine is fine. What was the other one up in the corner? Nice and smooth. What was the other one we saw in the corner? Oh. And the old one tree. Oh. They don't grow anymore, <laughs> and most of them come from Sweden, not from Canada, because they still have tall, straight trees, and we don't still have tall, straight trees. Why not? We cut them all down, stupid ass. We should have saved them. I hope we save these big trees forever. There's actually many kinds of birds. This bird is kind of quite rare. It's called the silver bird. When the sun shines on it, it's very silver. It's similar to the birds in it. It's a good bird, but it's a different color. These trees are very rare. There's nothing in the left. We have to protect them. Silver bird. Silver bird. There are some others around, so if you're looking around in the woods and you see one that's kind of the silvery shape, color, and different than the white bird, that's another silver bird. Now, interestingly, you can tap these trees and get sap from the But the sap from these trees is not very sweet. It's not like the maple sap. That's why it's not maple not for a free, but it's not so bad. Water running down the hill. And that's what it is. Into the sugar tank here, and that's what he was boiling. I think you're actually very good for me for sap. So I don't have a lot of it today, but I just do have an extra one. You can see behind you here, I get some trees packed. They froze it overnight. It's nice when it's cold overnight and then warm in the day, that makes better. Uh, sap. So we get the sap out of the trees. It takes about 40 liters. You can believe it. 40 liters to make one liter of syrup. The uh, camp is no longer a sugar shack. We made it to like a little house. This is my uh, little tool shed here. And you can go up in the barn behind and it's not coming down. And there's a secret port in there. If you the ladder, there's a secret port up in the if you're going around in the woods, remember we have to protect the trees. We don't want to break anything. You can pick up sticks on the ground, but we don't want to break any branches on the trees or anything like that. The ice is too soft to go on it, but when it's harder in the winter, I can park over there on the old highway. In fact, you can come back that way and see it's on the way back. If you just had an aqua, you come up here. That'll take you right up to King's Landing and get back on the four lane and go right into Maryland. Um, but in the winter, when it's really cold, you can walk out on the ice and walk right across. In fact, you can park on the other side and walk across. Over here, of course, the skidoos use it over there. Inside the cottage, you can go anywhere you want. You don't have to take your boots off, just stomp them off at the door. If you keep the doors closed, it'll stay warm because I have the wood stove burning in there. There are some, there's some water and juice. Everybody can just take one and there's some snacks there. Just take one for each of this and I'll give you the right. And what else can I tell you? Um, this is Paul of Bear Island. But look around, there's the island. This is 
small bear island. But how many people know where the dam is? Actaquack Dam. Of course you do. You know where the dam is? It's down here. After they built the dam, the water flooded up in here and got very deep. This isn't the original river. The original river was much narrower. After they built the dam and the water got very deep, the island Hi, we're just looking at the sap is finally running, look. Boys and girls, where are we? Bear Island! Thank you. Having fun? Yes! Wait, what did you learn this morning? What about what? Trees. Different trees. And where are you at right now? It is the secret fort that only you know about. Really? Yeah. And one other. But it's secret. So All right, have fun. We're gonna go down to the sugary now. Let's roll. Yeah, some marshmallows on the table inside. And remember, just one juice, one snack, and one water. Oh, I know. Say what they want, she won't stop trying. Oh, you know. She might stumble and they push her out. She might fall, but she'll never lie down. It's not so bad. And I say, wait, hey, hey, it's just an ordinary day. And it's all your state of mind. At the end of the day, you just got to say it's all. There's always some sorrow And it's a double-edged knife But there's always tomorrow You know It's up to you now If you sink or swim Just keep the faith out of your ship you coming It's not so bad And I say Wait, it's just an ordinary day And it's all your state of mind Oh, that's our film too. What you done? Talk. Julie is a jack of all trades. A master of none. Where's the barn? Right behind you.